When you're involved in an accident, then you should go to an ER room and an urgent care as soon as possible uh, to make sure that you don't have a serious injury. Hi, I'm Eli Castronova. I'm a personal injury attorney in Southern California, and I represent people that are injured and that go to ER rooms or urgent cares because of their injuries. Now, ER rooms and urgent cares are good places to go after you are injured in a car crash or a slip and fall accident. The problem is, especially here in Southern California, very often uh, ER rooms are crowded and so are urgent cares, especially with the COVID epidemic. You've got people coming in there with COVID. You've got people coming in that have flus uh, because they haven't gotten their vaccines, because they haven't been a doctor, or they're scared to go to a doctor's office. Uh, and so these places are backed up. So what you get is you get ER doctors who are overwhelmed. Uh, so if somebody comes in and they're complaining of neck or back injuries from a car accident or a, a slip and fall or trip and fall type of accident, very often what happens is they only get to see the doctor for five minutes. And what does the doctor do? The doctor asks them what happened. They tell them, they tell them what their complaints are. And uh, then they might shoot them over to get an x-ray. And after five or six hours of waiting and maybe 15 minutes of seeing the doctor and get an x-ray, they release you and maybe give you a, a prescription for some pain or muscle relaxants or something like that. But many, many times, serious injuries are, are uh, missed because these ER rooms and urgent cares are, are so busy. Uh, so what we do is when a client comes into my office or calls me soon after an accident, they say, I've been in an ER room, I've been to an urgent care, and uh, they did this and that, and I spent five minutes with the doctor and maybe had an x-ray. What we do is we make sure that we talk to them about what their complaints are, what kind of pain do they have? Uh, because I've had many, many clients come to my office and they have chest pain and they say, well, they did an x-ray uh, and uh, they still have pain and it's been a couple of days. Well, what we do is we send them to uh, doctors that are, are well qualified in, in these kinds of chest injuries because I've had many clients in which rib fractures, in fact, multiple rib fractures were missed because uh, the x-rays weren't taken well, uh, the positioning of the patient was not good, and they just send them in and out. And uh, a rib fracture is, is a very painful injury because there's not much you can do uh, other than take pain medication and maybe wear a chest belt or something like that, but it affects every part of your life, trying to sleep, trying to move, uh, every time you cough, sneeze, uh, they're bad fractures. Uh, then also there's incidences in which uh, the person continues to have severe neck pain or back pain. Uh, maybe when they went into the, the ER room, uh, they just had localized pain, but then a day later, or two days later, they start to get pain down their arm or down their leg. Well, that indicates that there's a pinched nerve. So x-rays are good for broken bones, uh, such as a, a leg fracture or something like that, but they're not good for, for um, trying to find out whether somebody has a herniated disc, uh, the cushions between the, the, the vertebrae in your back. So we right away, if that's going on, we send them to uh, an orthopedic specialist and make sure that they get an MRI of their neck and back because MRIs can see usually uh, whether a disc is herniated uh, or bulging and uh, very often can, can uh, diagnose a pinched nerve as well. So it's important to have that follow-up treatment. Uh, we don't just rely on ER room diagnoses or, or urgent care diagnoses because we know often they're not accurate. And the client has to get treatment as soon as possible uh, because they're in a lot of pain. Uh, and we have the doctors who can diagnose these types of injuries, uh, can send clients to get CT scans, which are um, much more detailed x-rays or MRIs uh, to diagnose these types of injuries and also electric um, nerve conduction tests and, and um, uh, EMGs and things like that. So, uh, 
uh, a client doesn't have to uh, just sit there and do nothing when these kinds of uh, pains come. And uh, when they come to us, we make sure they get to the right doctors, doctors that are qualified, doctors that are educated at Harvard, Stanford, uh, UCLA, some of the best uh, medical schools and also doctors who are on staff at, at Cedars-Sinai and uh, hospitals like that that are, are top hospitals. Uh, I came from a family uh, that was a medical family. My dad was a surgeon for 50 years. My mother was a nurse. And um, around our house when I was a, a young man, uh, we always talked about different kinds of injuries and different kinds of physical conditions. And my father would often take me to the hospital uh, with him. And I remember at least a couple times uh, observing surgeries from an um, observation room. Uh, and uh, it really, really interested me. Uh, so when I became an attorney, uh, I was well-schooled in, in medical terminology. And in fact, my first couple of years, I'd go to my father and I'd ask him to look at certain cases and, and see what he thought. And he gave me some very, very, very good information and where to go and what doctors to talk to if it wasn't his field. And so at this point, almost 40 years into my career, uh, I have been handling almost every kind of fracture, uh, herniated disc, um, dislocation that there is, including brain injuries uh, and things of that nature and, and wrongful death cases many, many times. So um, again, when you are in an accident, you have pain, you go to an ER room and uh, they tell you, uh, look, at, take a pill and go home. Uh, don't don't just do that. Call us and we'll make sure you get to the right doctors that will give you the right diagnosis and that will make sure you get the right treatment so you're back on your feet and feeling better and we will get you the compensation you deserve.